the space program in general has significant <coughs> both um, general economy as well as the quality of life uh, benefits. It's easy to forget that the main society advantage of GPS is not telling you where you are, it's telling you what time it is. And in particular, modern cellular telephone technology relies on the accurate timing provided by GPS to synchronize the towers at a fraction of the cost of alternatives. If tomorrow the GPS constellation were to disappear, the first thing that you will notice is all of your fourth generation cell phones would stop working. After that, the ATM machines and so on. So there is a tremendous lack of understanding in general as to the benefits of space to society. In terms of uh, commercial applications, there is an 800 pound gorilla, the communications uh, business, uh, soon to be expanded to digital communications. Now, having said that, if you now restrict yourself to space exploration, you have to be careful uh, on a number of things. First of all, what do you mean by space exploration? Because there is a distinction between human space flight and robotics exploration of space, and in general, science that is done through the means of space. The second thing you have to be very careful with is the time um, horizon in which you make these predictions or these assertions. It is very different to say, what can space do for me in the next three months? which is usually the time frame of a public company when they have to declare dividends and uh, report on income, as to saying what's going to happen 40 years from now. Traditionally, forecasters of the future have been terrible at forecasting uh, near-term uh, advances in that they over-predict, and terrible in forecasting long-terms in that it under-predict. Let me give you an example. When Jack Schmidt, the only scientist to have gone to the moon, a geologist, was sent to the moon in the uh, you know, early 70s, the computer that guided the Apollo uh, capsule had less computing power than my wristwatch. So Jack Schmidt was there because the only way of performing geology on the moon was to carry a human. Today, you can carry an entire mass spectrometer to Mars for a fraction of the cost and the danger and all that stuff associated with human spaceflight. So you have to be very careful when you talk about space exploration to distinguish between human spaceflight, which has a number of uh, characteristics and advantages and so on, and non-human or robotic exploration. 